Hello! Smart PLS has come out with a new feature that I thought I'd show you. You can now import old Amos models. So if you have a bunch of Amos models and you don't want to use Amos anymore, which is certainly where I find myself, you can now import those models into Smart PLS. So here is a large model, a large CFA from Amos. Very complex. Lots of items, lots going on. Let's see if Smart PLS can handle this. To import the model in Smart PLS, it's not very intuitive yet. In the current version, which for me is 4.1, you'll want to create a new project. I'll just call this Amos for now. And while it is selected, go to Files at the top, and then select Import SPSS Amos File. Go find that file. For me, it's just in my Downloads folder. It will guess at a name. You're welcome to change that. Go ahead and hit apply, and it generates that model. Now, it's trying to fit this entire massive model into this screen. So if I wanted it to be a little bit cleaner, I'd have to do some manual adjusting. Before I do that, I'm going to import the data. I'm going to hit back and import data file, go get the data that was used for that, open that up. I'll go ahead and keep all the defaults for now. And then go back and double click on that model and you can see we now have all of the indicators on the left and the model here on the right. I'll show you briefly how I would go ahead and clean this up a little bit. First, I would zoom out, way out. And then I would just bring one of these down pretty far and start aligning them, just stacking them on top of each other. And then zoom back in, there we go. We now have this full model. You can see it is the same model over there. And if I were to run it, calculate, basic algorithm, keep the defaults, and then switch over to, instead of outer weights and loadings, standardized outer weights and loadings. And you can see that the numbers are the same. 0 0.82, 0 0.82, 0 0.88, 0 0.88, 0 0.912, 0 0.912, I have the decimals cut off at two here, three here, so, but you can see they're roughly the same. 0 0.698, 0 0.7, and then the first correlation, negative 0.13, negative 0.13, they are the same. And that's it, that's how you import an Amos file into your Smart PLS.